Buonasera and welcome to this Italian heartland tucked away in the northeast of It is the under 20 Six Nations. Wales are visiting Italy in round four. Nows of Venice, but tonight two teams looking to plug a flood. A flood of losses. Italy, three on the spin in this competition, and Wales on their worst run in their history. It's a full ticket this evening with Scotland against Grand Slam Chasers Island, whilst down at the wreck in England, the France are in town. There's a look at the table and confirmation of the two front runners, England and Ireland, lining up a climax of all climaxes if they can secure wins tonight. Wales rooted to the bottom, but Italy with hope of propelling themselves higher up the rankings. There's plenty of Welsh in town, I can tell you that. Over 100 family members of the players have jetted in today to welcome their young men who are so desperately seeking their first win of the campaign. I'm joined this evening by former Scotland international, Heather Lockhart. Heather, what a game we've got in store for ourselves. Absolutely. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, just so exciting. It's been a fabulous day here in Treviso. And temperatures dropped slightly, but there's no win. So an excellent night for some running rugby for both sides going for their first win. Well, a temperature drop. Heather, but a 15 degree difference between here in Treviso and Colwyn Bay, where these boys in red have been playing their rugby. And in terms of the temperature of the stadium, we're looking at a sold out Stadio di Monigo. Yeah, it's just fantastic to see the Italians getting behind their team. And as you mentioned, the Welsh supporters flying out to support their team. It's just a fantastic atmosphere and really looking forward to tonight's match. Well, there's Wells' his captain there, Ryan Woodman. So much expectation on all the young shoulders of both these teams. Both have shown plenty of promise. They've shown moments of brilliance in all those matches that they've come out second best in. And they'll have hope coming in to leave Treviso with a win. But first, we acknowledge that, as ever, rugby is against racism. Now, the two of the most impassioned anthems in world rugby.
some anthems are sung, and then there are some which simply exude the passion for the badge. A combination of injuries and tactical tweaks has resulted in four changes to Massimo Brunello's starting 15. Powerhouse prop, Destiny Aminu is omitted. So 19-year-old Samuel Tade is handed his first under-20 start. The Azzarini will be without Matthias Douglas and Francesco Carlo May due to not sustained against Ireland, presenting Filippo Bozzioni with his first under-20 start and treating us to the enigmatic Simone Brizighella from minute one for the first time this championship. Byron Hayward has opted to switch five. Lucas De La Rua, who's still at school, makes his first start of the championship, alongside returning an increasingly hyped Morgan Morse. Whilst at the coalface, Cardiff Met University, Tom Pritchard is charged with the unenviable task of keeping a lid on the most destructive scrum in the championship. Bryn Bradley elevated from the bench, whilst Irish brace bagger, Cleon Morgan, returns to take the number 11 jersey. For the replacements, Davies galore and parents prime to beam with pride. For among the replacements are Ruaro, Casilio, Fletcher, Evans, Hope and Davis. They're all set to make their international under-20 bows. Our referee this evening, Anthony Woodthorpe, he's been over these ways. For previous Italian matches in the championship, for, for the first time, he's the main man in the middle. The heavy metal forwards of Italy versus the rock star backs of Wales. 80 minutes to determine who will be singing a winning tune at the end of round four of the under 20 Six Nations 2023. Okay. Right, time you run. Giovanni Sante has us underway here in Treviso. And Wales looking to arrest a run of six losses. Cough up possession immediately, but illegally so. First penalty of the evening, the first opportunity to bring Heather Lockhart in. Yeah, Wales will be pleased with that. The attack well there at the breakdown and just not releasing there. So penalty and some much needed territory for Wales. Well, the line out for Wales this evening, Sam Scarf, the man launching the darts. It's not been the best this championship. Only Scotland have a worse success percentage. They're only claiming three quarters of their throws, but that's nice and clean. And the first chance to see the boys in red take on this imperious black in blue. They've been bringing their ballast, they've been bringing their aggression, but here come Wells with a break. Sam Scarf losing his footing. Yeah, it's interesting you're talking there about the line out stats. Sam Scarf was out first, first out in the practice pitch and uh, practicing his line out, and it paid off there in a, another penalty. Well, Scarf was outstanding against Ireland. He picked up a try and really for. A hooker just landing that first throw was so important as far as confidence goes for the evening. He very much deserved that. I've just watched him in practice and uh, he wasn't missing, it, so two, well done. Two. The second There's opportunity. Six man in there, but you said five. There's many six. minutes to, to see the dragon man. Hold the ball. No. Okay, when you're ready. confusion about the numbers. Delays the throw. He just put Scarf off beautifully collected by the on-rushing Morse. Returning to the side. And nice shapes already from Wales who go to the edge. They love it. Houston on the ball. Muscularly tackled back across the 22 threshold. Space down the short side, but shut down by a strong challenge in the tackle. Wales enjoying themselves in possession in these early exchanges. Johnny Green. The Treviso crowd getting behind there, boys in blue who come up with a big shot to put Wales under pressure. Just a knock on advantage, Wales. Edwards advantage over. goes no. to the boot and asks some questions of the Italian backfield. Great pressure on the chase and a shot from Cleon Morgan. And a penalty, the reward.
Yeah, third penalty for Wales there. Um, really working hard, stretching it out in the left wing. And then Italian defence were rushing up, but uh, a knock on, and Wales played the advantage and got the resulting penalty. So, in good field position here. Six. Well, it's an odd to the disciplinary record of the Italians. They're one of the squeakiest sides in this championship, averaging just 11 a game. No. Right. But already. There's your numbers Clocking are not correct. Three. You're saying six and then there's seven in. Same as the last one, there was five and then there's six. Must be better Wales. How many? Yeah, their captain Ryan Woodman identified the fact six. that the Welsh discipline Make had sure to be better six. in this game. Under ten is the aim. Well, there appears to be some numeracy problems out there, which referees keen to stamp out. And Wales composed. Build another shot. So that's well formed and rolling round the corner. But Italy bring it to the ground. And here come Wells, a carry from Brim Bradley into for a starting berth. And Mayhem in the 22. No one cherishing possession, but eventually Italian hands on the ball. Adiaze, the open side. Nine. Lucas to respond. First sighting of Italy in possession and rewarded with a penalty. Yeah, just a bit over eagerness there, I think, from Wales in the 22. Be looking to be a bit more clinical the next time, but Odeasi, one to watch, very quick on the ground. Um, real real um, star performer for Italy so far. David Odiaze is an incredibly impressive player. Most dominant tackles, second most carries, throws in a few turnovers as well. A one-stop shot for all things good in the loose. Teresi claiming that one. Mattioli so often the line-out option for Italy. And with advantage, Odiaze will carry in. Some more. Well, he's held up by his opposition. So, collapse over there, and then you just collapsed it as well. Once I called more, this player just collapsed it. You got a penalty over there, or a penalty here? He's got the option of either penalty, two penalties there. One was collapsing them all, the first one. And it looks like they've taken the form. More collapse, and the same over there. Giovanna Sante Keep coming to me. looking for a touch and well he's a very very good player but he's a man yeah. whose kicking is under pressure Italy guilty of kicking the ball dead from penalties out of the hand a number of times out the tournament and then as far as the goal kicking goes an alarming percentage that it's a team offering at just 38 percent from the tee so you would have liked that to have been a little bit cleaner. From the Here's the hard carrying Bozzo. Odiaze, another carry. Plenty of contributions from the open side already, and plenty of space out here for Bozzoni. So flighty, just caught round the collar. And there's the power coming in from Tade, replacing Aminu today. Sante just loses it in the headlights. Sebastiano Batara organises his forwards and the biggest of them all, Gallarini. All 133, 35 kilos of him, depending on what website you read or what he's had for breakfast. But Italy enjoying some consistency and possession before the ball passes behind Passarella, and a promising passage comes to an end. Yeah, Italy, Italy will be happy with that, but equally, Wales will be happy with, with their defence and their pressure. They identified that. Brian Woodman was explaining about the physicality, and, and their coach Stability. as well, explaining that they had Stability. to up their physicality and defence and nullify the Italian forwards, and they did just that and forced the error. Well, Heather, this is a big moment in the game, the first scrum of the match. Crouch! Let's see what happens. Five! 
A penalty to the Italians, just like 14 previous times in this tournament. As a team, they account for nearly 50% of the scrum penalties awarded. And that is the nightmare start for the Welsh A. Yeah, just straight, straight to ground, straight to ground, no messing, penalty given. And uh, Quadrini, Taddy and Gallerini taking advantage. Gallerini, number three, really quite exceptional, 18 years of age and playing almost every of the last three games. Fantastic work. Well, immediate impetus injected by the forwards in blue. They lose their thread a little bit and the ball goes to ground. Odiaze, oh, from stationary, he generates so much explosive power. Tara so cool there, wearing number nine, just directing his big pack around. He'll take it when he wants to the backs. He'll have to jump in a bit sooner because that's some um, loose presentation. No, not yet. Keeping it tight. As has been Italy's way ever since the first minute against France in round one. They so nearly won. Looking to register the first point tonight, three metres short. Now will the backs play. A dance inside by Sante. Penalty advantage and plenty of blue jerseys lining up on this left-hand side. But still we go narrow. Through to the posts. The Treviso crowd. Worn by the forward advance. More penalty advantage. This time, Italy to the back. The Azzarini in the right-hand corner. The home side open the scoring. Alessandro Giesi, the man across the paint. He'll be absolutely delighted with that. Um, all came from the scrum penalty and then the forwards just had the patience, the patience. Batara at number nine is exceptional, just keeping patience, keeping his forwards working. Okay. And then there when the time came to the release the backs and well finished off by Daisy. In practice as well, they were looking to play wide. So I think they've identified just to stretch that Welsh tempo? defense. Well, that is very Cheers, much the, the positive of such a dominant pack that Wales are so desperate to resource that area that it leaves opportunity out wide as well. Absolutely. They'll have uh, done, their, done their homework and uh, certainly Wales when they played England. England identified that as well. There was space on the edge. Well, like the first scrum, this is a significant moment for Sante. 46% in the tournament thus far. And he doesn't start with the best strike. A warm applause from the crowd, but certainly that's going to be a kick that could just lodge itself in the back of Sante's thoughts going forward in this match. Yeah, to, to, to be fair, it was... A a wider, a wider kick, and a, a, he probably would have wanted a slightly easier one just for his first kick. Well, taken nicely by Matteo, yes. one of the real workhorses okay, once. of this Italian side. And look at how much confidence that try is injected into the back line, scampering out in the wide channels and asking Welsh defenders to work hard to bring them down. Gallerini, brilliant tackle on the enormous piece of furniture wearing three. Odiaze has a juggle, and Wales come away on the break through Edwards. Across the 10-metre threshold, there's a lot of space here if Wales can use it. Hennessy brought down. Knock on advantage over. Forwards brought into play, Pritchard getting a carry under his belt. Lovely soft hands from Morse before. Tackle on the head! Wells are in it go. By a blue blanket of defence. 
Good, strong carry from De La Rua. Wells looking good. Seeking that edge again, and here comes Hennessy. Beautiful dancing feet, links up with Bradley. No release, and another penalty against Italy. Yeah, that was definitely the Welsh best Shot pass to play so far. Opting to take the pick, side. but De La Rue really making hard yards and some lovely Just soft hands night. in the middle as well. Just creating that penalty there, but uh, some good, great, good work there by Wales. Dan Edwards, who's plumped for the polls, is the absolute opposite of Giovanni Sante in terms of time kicking running. from the tee oh, this okay. championship. He is the best. You're looking at me, Heather, <laughs> admiringly, <laughs> admiringly of his work from the tee. Absolutely. He's not quite 100%. He's eight from nine, but um, some fantastic work. Uh, just a blue lap, just moving out of the way. He's kicking really well in the warm-ups amongst the hubbub of this sold-out event. And true to type, he splits the poles. And he's got a nice rhythm. He sort of warms up two or three times to get the rhythm to strike. Excellent. Bit of a prospect, Dan Edwards, in the absence of, you know, too much of a strong succession plan in terms of future tens for Wales. He's certainly stepping up with yeah. his reliability with the boot, but also with some of the creation of his tr the tries as well for Wales. A good chase from the kickoff. No. no. Okay, you it. Keep it on. That Nine, let's Wales go. and Archie Hughes will be boxing Always from inside. deep. Well, that is some exit. Yeah, he was doing that in the warm ups as well. Go really, another great Wales prospect nine. at nine, Archie Hughes, um, coming through from Scarlets. Um, practices kicking with um, James Hook, Lee Halfpenny, and uh, it's paying dividends. Four. Plenty of movement, the subterfusion there as well, and Odiadze, well, there's nothing subtle about that movement. He just always gets a couple of extra yards, doesn't he? So powerful through the contact and gives his back front football to go gyrating through contacts like that. Tackle well, seven! Sante, the pivot. Forwards just working with backs in real harmony. Sante picking his passes nicely. Baturi. Uh, he's held yes. up. Tim Bradley's in there. And that's the kind of work that the inside centre can do is physicality. Lads, don't go in, don't go in. And this has bubbled over rather unpleasantly. A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, but also. Not much quelling of the situation. Just a lot of players wanting to get going after, even after 16 minutes. So just calm things down. That's, go that way, please. Just not from there, right? And then we speak to my team. Anthony Woodthorpe will be calling okay, so all of his resources here. Field is unsuccessful, more turnover to Wales. Do you know what has started that whole scuffle? No idea. Tempo, is there anything clear? Ian Tempest in the okay, truck. So you've got nothing on the angle, so I'm going to speak to both captains and uh, we'll manage it from there. Giovanni, Ryan! Strong officiating team with okay. Adam Leal and Mornay Ferreira alongside him also. We haven't, uh, we haven't got a person who started it, but that doesn't happen again. There is a TMO, but he hasn't got any clear angles. So what we're going to start with is a scrum to Wales at the unsuccessful mall. Take control of this, that does not happen again. So where you go, have the message, please. Yeah, there's going to be a scrum. 
calming both teams down, advising them, you know, that's their warning. And it was a, contest, a fantastic defensive mall there by uh, Wales, that's stopping that Italian attack. Back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're okay. not indulging in cliches to say that, that, that the passions run high at under 20 levels, particularly no because it's such a finite well, period to achieve with your with your friends. Absolutely, we're talking about the cyclical nature of it. Sometimes they only get you know one Six Nations, so this just means absolutely everything. So, um, but just keep the cool head as well. Remember, you've got a match to play. Crouch! And... Set! It's gone down far side. This side was much better. Anything on it? Well, it's gone down, involving yeah. Tade. OK, and come here. Destiny let's, let's move it over. Aminu. I need you to bring your feet up. Cardiff I need you University elbow. student. Let's go. So, you know, he's come from lectures to Treviso to face one of the most fearsome packs in the Six Nations. Just a little stat for you about the Italy front row. The under 20s front row are 30 kilos heavier than the Italian men's senior front row who are starting against Wales tomorrow. There you go, that's your stat. Yeah, second scrum penalty there, the Italian front row asserting their dominance. Tadai, although coming in for his first start, is uh, proving um, to give Thomas Pritchard, who's just come back, uh, he played in the first match, but giving some trouble Class. to him. Well, the Welsh scrum has largely held up well in the tournament. They haven't won a load of penalties, but they have been pretty solid. They're up against a different beast this evening. We were talking about it earlier. I think it's not just the weight. You were talking about the weight of the pack. But I think they'll also have good technique. In the middle. Keep coming up. Italy, come on. Thank you. And the line out functioning supremely well also. Italy just failing to get a real concerted nudge on previously. And they're winding round the side. and. Quattrini is forced to break Take away and into a mob of red jerseys. Batara conducting his pack, geeing his big men round the corner. And the crowd. Well, the crowd responds. Italian rugby on an upward trajectory and their fan base feeling so up here in northeastern Italy as well. So comfortable, so strong with these pick and goes, with all that ballast. But they'll go to the back, and it's time for a cross field. Asante doesn't find the right Not one, rolling. but he almost finds a fumble. Sweet relief for Cam Wynette. Yes, I think maybe there the, the option would have just been to do the same as again, just through the hands rather than with a penalty advantage. Well, that was the look of a man who was very, very glad that that juggled back into his path. Absolutely, absolutely. He's been one of the standout players, though, the 20 year olds. Had a pretty fabled rise in rugby, scoring on his debut for Cardiff against Quinns. His focus is on his country this evening, and his pack's focus are on trying to repel this relentless blue wave of mountainous men who go shearing so round the corner and hunting for the line. Are they short? Are they there? Desperation from Wales, how have they held them out? Woodthorpe on his haunches, a decision to be made. I just want to I just want to check. I've got it held up initially. I just want to check that it's, uh, that's held up. Yeah. Okay. So tempo just come to you. Initially, I believe it's held up. Uh, can you just uh, make sure there wasn't a grounding, please? So on field decision, no try, mate. On yeah. No, yeah, on field decision, no try, held up. Just checking grounding. Okay, stand by, mate. He's asked the question. He's saying initially it was held up and then put. So he's just double checking that. Just to also reiterate, we don't have angles. There's no screen. I mean, was it? Did it make the whitewash yeah. there? It's nothing conclusive. Woody, stick with your on-field decision, mate. It's held up yeah. over the line. 
No try. Held up. Under. Go on. Be clear. So yes. yeah, no Go try. On, it's all about the question that was asked there, and yeah. we have been lauding yeah, time the this. front row power of Italy. Tries Make coming sure from the Gallerini. Two from Aminu. Gasparini's been in there huh? throughout no, the no, campaign, but the wall, all the time. they have been held up over the line a number of times. I think there it was just like breaking Down off the and foot. maybe, just maybe. So, you got either a five metre line out or a scrum. Wheels under pressure there. Well, that scrum. is a mistake you don't see very often since the implementation of the goal line dropout. And look how punishing it is to slice one off the boot. On the five fall. metre scrum. Scrum shows you. Yeah. This is the Azzarini's happy place. Exactly. Just, he knows. He knows. He knows. Keep the feet up. Head up. Next one. Let's build. I will watch, but for me, you'll feel too far from back his every time. The Welsh Space pack in the front row of oh, Kerr, yeah. Griffith, Scarf, and Pritchard need to steal themselves. It's also the second row, the Crunch. Italian second row are really doing a job there. Matale and Teresi, both in the line out and the scrum, they're really providing Set. a platform. We could kind of predict that that anticipation from both sides was That's going to must be better create a reset. Yeah, Can Thomas Pritchard, the, the, the Welsh tight head, is just slightly good this side. going in at the angle and just not quite managing to stay square and straight. Well, as if the Italian pack needed any more encouragement, Italia begins to bring around the Stadio di Monigo. Set! Too much movement. Yeah, early engagement by, by Wales there, yeah. Again, they're just that pressure coming through from the Italian pack. More control. No. A game for Samuel Tade, his first okay, under build, 20 please, let's start. Space. Start of minutes, although featuring in all the matches, 18 against France and 9 against England, and just 8 against Ireland. It's a testament to the durability of the starting front row that Italy put out. Set. A chance to stake his claim with a Vonage. key scrum on the five meter line. There is penalty advantage already. There's a lot of movement there, yeah. And I, I think I suspect round the other side okay. as well. We've had three scrum penalties against your loose and now you've Here's gone on warning. Next time you go. We'll go time off yeah. to receive Delica treatment. Griffiths. You okay? Just Do you want treatment not managing definitely? to keep the bind. Must stay up. I, you are hitting down for me. I need you. Dylan Kelleher Griffiths is battle hardened. He's grizzled from his time I, I, I playing in the Welsh Champ for Pontypool. This is always going to be a tough, tough ass, but one that he's more than capable of. Gallerini just three providing scrum that extra that. pressure. We haven't had a completed scrum. There's three in a row that I penalised him. Happy? You okay? Time on scrum. Luther claps. So a I'm brief on. bit Let's of treatment. No, enough. You don't need to be talking to me. As we take a look at the try, it was a lovely step to stutter his opposite number. For all the silky passing Crouch. and fancy footwork that carved out that try, Bang. this is a very, very different picture here. Set! Stay high! Stay high! Vonage. More penalty advantage, more opportunity for the Italian wingers, but a brilliant tackle on Bottoni. That's four penalties. The yellow card. For the sixth time in this championship, Wales will be okay, reduced to 14 men. We need to bring a loose head replacement on, please. Scrum chosen. When you lose a front row, it creates all manner of jigging around to accommodate a replacement so that they can 
fulfill their scrum obligations. Yeah, Kellogg Griffiths just losing the bind on a couple of occasions there. 14 just Wales, 14 please. The strength of Gallerini and the power from behind. It's really the power there. Number five there, Teresa behind Gallerini. Oh, yeah, just, so it's not, it's not just it, no, one it's, person's uh, it's job. Yeah. It's all the the sacrifice for Wales is Thank number you. 14. Okay. From Harry Houston. Yeah, chosen. So Josh Morse enters the freight. Josh at Morse the still at school. A colleague, Sir Gar, another man who's who stood up well in a scrummaging session against Ponty Pool. Yeah, time on please. Come up through the age grades at Scarlet, but this surely must be the tallest task in this 18-year-old's early career. Point! Not happy? You OK? OK, let's go. Pitcher Quick build, come on. Quick build. Yeah, not happy, resetting, fair enough. Well, I've lost track of the length of time that we've been down in this spot. Still only 5-3 with all that pressure. Crouch! Point! Set! Stay high! The pressure comes. Wales begin to crumble. Anthony Woodthorpe backpedalling, spins on his heels. And there can only be one outcome. Penalty try. Gallerini embraced. Italy destroying the Welsh scrum. It's a scrum masterclass and number three, Thomas Pritchard is down. Absolutely, it's Ollie. It's not just the front row. As I said, that, that Macaroli and Teresi in the second row really providing all the power. Time off. The flankers too celebrating, really exceptional. Well, the carnage is there for all to see. Dylan Kelleher Griffiths off with the yellow card. Tom Pritchard being patched up. Not even half an hour on the clock. It is an ominous sign for the rest of this match. Wells always knew they were going to be in for war up front, but boy have these young men brought it from Italy. Wales know they have to cut out their unforced errors in order to relieve the pressure, so opportunity here. Adiaze, that's a good strong tackle. A powerful open side and he's held up as well. That's a big result for the Welsh defence. Ball's available. And one of the Italian talisman. Oh, take him back! Bit of after from Morgan Morse is going to be punished. Tackle, the hands Wells! I thought it was. I Inside. thought Anthony Woodthorpe had his arm out with penalty Fully advantage. Bound. Six, out you come. Instead, we'll see Batara. Use it! Go to the skies. Always inside. We also got to keep their discipline here. Always inside! Always inside! Well, I'm not sure that was Batara's full intention. Here's another look at that scrum power. How many? Six. Look at that face, look at that. Job done. So much pressure on the throw and so much athleticism to slide and collect that in such a fluid motion, but the offload doesn't go to hand. It's backed up by a forward pass. Goodness me. I mentioned hype around Morgan Morse and we're just seeing glimpses of why everyone in Wales is getting so excited. That was a phenomenal pick-up off the floor and we have power, power away that just dispossessed it. He's only 18 years old, he's being managed minutes-wise. Keep that space and that height yeah. is... He was called into the squad last year, aged 17. Look at that for a possession stat. Crouch! The field flooded blue. Bond! Italy sit, sit top at the possession stats for all of the Six Nations, but 
it's outstanding. It just shows you if you get your set piece right. One of the things that has hampered Italy has been their conversion of that time in possession in the red zone their red zone efficiency as it's known one of the one of the poorest and backed up by the territory as well which matches the possession painted pictures utter dominance in this opening half an hour stay high stay high to improve on the 34 percent territory yeah, I got Luke the claps again myself. Another scrum penalty advantage, and the Italian backs will fly. Oh, look at the slick hands. And now look at the pace in pursuit. Batara is in there. Jezzi wants another. He has a really a rampant in Treviso right now. It was a simple platform from the scrum, but look where they've ended up. Deep in the Welsh 22. Lovely hands there. Two men. Two. Two men. Hold on. It's... Well, Wales, rather smartly, bypass the entire line out and just give it straight to Morse on this occasion. Lovely, clean, crisp exit. They better warm up their shoulders because here come the Italians again with some beautiful flight of foot. And, oh, if that had gone to hand, but Woodman was right place, right time. Rizzi Geller really showing the turn of pace and some excellent Don't hands. Don't chase him with the ball. Wales invite Sante this time to run back at them, but his buddy Rizzi Geller who got us excited moments ago, loses his footing. Yeah. A chance now here for Wales just to regroup, reset. 30 minutes on the clock, time to get a try before half-time. I think when they are getting possession, they're just over-eager because they're just not, not having lots of possession, so they're just... Six. Six, man! ...being over-eager when they do. The skipper claims it highest, and Morse is a one-man band for Wales at the moment in terms of impressions on the game. Odiaze. Good contest. Taking out two Welsh clearers and really scrappy and disruptive. No. Wales do well to retain the ball. De La Rua. Tackle move! Try and punch it through. Wales in possession, but remember, down to 14, so looking for holes and finding them with a lovely bit pass. The support from Hughes. Oh, the Cohen Bay Globetrotters are in town and they're thrilling in Treviso. That was almost for nothing, but fantastic hands there and just great support play. Archie Hughes deservedly getting that try there. Just when it looked like there was no wiggle room for any imagination. The feet from Morgan returning to the field, the support from Bradley and Hughes with the pace to finish the job. Magnificent from the, the Welsh who've been under the pump. Okay, thank you. Cheers, thank you. 12 points to eight with conversion to come. Dan Edwards with a chance to take Wells to 10. And remarkably, we've got a two point game. So you said at the beginning against the, 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 the power of the Italian forwards, against the rock star of the, of the backs, and they produced that moment of magic there. Huge, just elusive runner. That top off the deck, though, was excellent. Well, how emotionally disheartening is that going to be for the Italians? We've just seen the possession and the territory stats, yet they only lead by a measly two. Exactly. Crucial period here now. 
Bradley. And use it. Leaping highest. It's his first start, actually, since against Italy at Colwyn Bay in last year's Six Nations. That was the one that Italy won. Although Wales avenged them in the summer series. Wales are coming up with the challenges and Wales are coming up with the pressure. Louis Hennessy just about fended off, but Italy go off their feet. Huge celebrations, vocal celebrations, every penalty is a win. 12 off feet. That's interesting, that's twice it's win, just that white channel, just a couple of errors out there, just giving, Option, giving Wales an opportunity. Look at that for penalties conceded in the match as a whole. 12 between the two. <laughs> Said On the line, Italy please, been Italy. averaging 11 yes, please. Match. Wales, however, Numbers, Ryan. the other end of the disciplinary spectrum. It's been problematic for them. Six yellow cards now. It's going to be expended soon. Up goes the captain and down come the Welsh pack who go pouring round the corner and slipping and sliding in for another. Down to 14, but digging so deep, Lucas de la Rua. Wales have taken the lead. Thank you. Tiring through. Just tell me if you need me to stop tempo. It's in line with me. Remarkable turnaround. Remarkable. Well, that coincides with the end of the sim bin as well. So, Wales return to the full complement of 15. Yeah, that's fine. And Kelleher Griffiths, while he's had his feet up, has okay, watched his try team. Okay, time on. Right, when you're ready, thank you concede admittedly to a penalty try but they have rallied to a point Dan Edwards can stretch Wells's lead out to five Evans un Edwards unable to land on this occasion. But Wales full of spirit, full of fights, and they're full of tries as well. Delighted on his first start. Delighted. First start, still at school. Lucas de la Rua living the dream. With those two scores, everything that Wales are doing is with that bit more purpose. Morgan Morse, a tower of strength for Wales through that dark yellow card period. But here's space down the short side. But Sony, so tricky, but isolated. We know how dangerous this can, can be. 21 in the, the previous match. Arc and run creating a try. They are trying to do the same thing. Welsh defence just right in there. Heather, can Wales get a third before half time? Just shows you how momentum can just like one error by Italy and Wales heads up and one moment of magic. Anything's possible. Well, under pressure, but it's taken Morse, goodness me, going toe to toe with Odi Aze. That's worth the ticket fee alone. Good breakdown work by Italy, almost causes a jackal. Pritchard sticks his head down. 
Flat. Oh, no, look past to Morse, linking up with Edwards. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What a hit. You won't see a better time tackle all year. Passarella, take a bow. No, and use it! A thunderous collision from the outside centre just to arrest a bit of that momentum. Not the Wales are through. beginning to drive in and just as quickly momentum can shift into the hands of others. Sante, lots of options out here if Italy can find the path. The rip from Green doesn't come. Tackle away outside! Batara got his eyes up, always looking for a break. Sante linking up with Rizigella. Out he comes! Oh, the under-resourced ruckers for Italy Excellent. under unnecessary pressure there, and oh, Wales with a key penalty when just for a moment they looked like they were scrambling. Five diving on the Fantastic measurable. counter rucking there by Wales, identifying that there's an opportunity. Both sides Ten. and seven penalties now, I think. Sometimes it gets a bit loose, the, the phase play with Italy, Regular. they play, they play, and then sometimes it's just a wee bit loose, they just need to tidy it up, but well done Wales, really tightening that defence up. dying embers of this first half it's one where Wales have been under inordinate amounts of pressure they've been reduced to 14 and they have gone to the well they lead 15 12 on this Thank final you. throughout the line out but they want more Hughes to Edwards all the way out to the left flank Cami Winnett drops it on the toe and Spins Brizzy Gell around on his heels. And he finds the sanctuary at the touchline. Well, a helter skelter of a first half here in Treviso comes to a close. And for all Italy's possession, for all their pressure, for all their territory, it is the home side that go into the break trailing. It is Italy 12, Wales 15.